Hey everyone, it's Francis Xavier, long enough to make awesome videos one at a time, and here we are with episode 6 of my Pokemon Fire Red Nuzlocke. The long-awaited, and I mean long-awaited, looking at the last episode, this was since November 16th of 2021. And, uh, well, let me just say that a lot of things have happened since then. To start with, um, well, my buddy Aaron is, um, maybe an inappropriate time to say this, but, um, it's now been a year and a half since, it's been a year and a half since his mother left us. It was very hard on all of us. I still remember <clears throat> getting the call. Be hanging, we were just hanging out at his house, watching TV, having a good time. And then we got the call that his mom was had a heart attack and had to be rushed to the emergency room. Justin got back. It was it was too late. Those next few months were brutal. Let's just say that the very. Let's just say the week after that, when we all went to go see Spider Man No Way Home, that was. not fun. I would be commentating on the battles that I'm having, but honestly, I kind of forgot all about this stuff because I for I'm recording this today. It's uh, exactly 7:30 p.m. on Monday, July 24th, 2023. Oh dear, poor live wire. Not my baby girl. And this episode was created on. I cre I filmed this in January of 2022. I also made a second episode the week the week later. The next episode has a <clears throat> episode seven. Uh. I've decided to not have any commentary for it because I record I didn't record the game audio and I only record the TV audio and it was really loud at late late at night and Justin told me to turn it down but it's like I have like a Westinghouse Roku TV in the big in the, in the main in our living room but the thing with Roku TVs, or at least the two I have, the, the small TCL one in my bedroom and the big Westinghouse one we have out, out in the living room, is that right between 6 and 7 there is a major distinct shift in volume. Like, 1 is fine, 2 is fine, 3 is fine, 4 is fine, 5 is fine, 6 is fine, and then 7 is just very, very loud. It's a distinct shift, and it's very... <clears throat> Honestly, it's kind of aggravating. Yeah, go, go, girl. Uh. Uh. Having to see that... But, like I said, having to see that... Um, that, that plot development in Spider-Man No Way Home... Both was very hard f for my buddy, but 
I think he later said he felt it was necessary. What happened to Aunt May? Get into the Spider Verse. No, no, in in a in No Way Home. I actually did see Across the Spider Verse recently. It was a really good movie, but there's so much more that's happened in the past year and a half. Year and eight months, actually. <sighs> well, for starters, I uh, didn't continue my job at <clears throat> at uh, Amazon for very much longer. It wasn't very pleasant. Four days of sun up to sundown, shifting around boxes, being told your rate's never good enough, and you know, you know the old urban legend about Amazon employees not being allowed to take bathroom breaks and being told to, you know, pee in a cup. Well, thankfully that wasn't true with my case, but we still couldn't sit down. And they were very harsh on us about our raids. Honestly, I wonder why I didn't use... I, knowing that he was going to be leading with Pidgeot, I wonder why I didn't lead with Livewire. Alright, it's time for Monkey Fist to make a dead mouse. <laughs> I hate that stupid meme. That stupid fan theory. He swapped it out for an execute. It has better stats. Stop just inserting your creepy creepypastas into everything. <clears throat> game theory. You didn't need game theory to prove that. I think said, uh, where else was I? Uh... Hold on a sec, I'm trying to remember, like, all that happened in the past year and a half. Oh, it's my favorite Pokemon, but I gotta fight it. Oh yeah, I attended Anime Blues Winterfest Remix. It was... Uh, I wouldn't say it was a letdown, but I f just felt kind of... Meh. Emotionally for quite a long time. It's not been fun. Oh, well, the good news is I also paid off the... I paid off the lease on both this computer and on my washer dryer. Oof. Yeah, I gotta switch out. Who's hoping Homer can take it? Up, oh, sleep powder. One time and has to hit. Whenever I want to figure out what I used to do way back when, I go back and look at my expense report. Oh yeah, well, one of our uh, one of the big things that, that happened, like in March or February, I think, was that our roommate does that one of our roommates moved out. <clears throat> Goodness, sorry, I'm I have a little bit of a sore throat. There's a 
there is a coal that's been passed around. I'm doing a better job of raising them than you. What a jerk. Every bit as jerky as the real Jeffrey. I wonder what that guy's doing these days. Uh. Oh yeah, I had a hurt foot on the job in in Jul in January of last year. Not just a bun. There isn't just a bunion in my big left toe. I also had severe cracking on my heels that I had to take medication for. Oh. Also had to take medication for my hurt toe, too. Hmm. Believe it or not, I still have the boots. Yeah, I've only got four other Pokemon. Because <clears throat> I haven't really traveled that much yet. Something else. Um. Well, a really tragic thing happened. Uh, happened in like uh, Duh. oh yeah in July of last year between all the between going to go see Sonic 2 in the theaters and mm, I've seen all and all and Marvel's sharp decline in quality Massive amount of credit card debt I've taken out as as a result of an unhealthy way to try and cope with my uh, you know depression and stuff. Um, oh yeah, I lost my job in June. I tried to get a job at Lander's Nissan, but, uh, I couldn't sell a thing, so I left within a week to find... ...to be a driver at Domino's. It had a lot of ups and downs. That, like, month or so had a lot of ups and downs. Oh, yeah, and Brian didn't actually move out until, like... Until June, either. Ah, yes, that's what happened. It's been a full year now since it happened, but on July 15th, 2022, at approximately. F well, actually, first, I gotta set the scene for you. After I quit my job at Landers, I did get not only the job at Domino's, which I had for a month, but then, a w but then in July. I mean, the tips were actually really... The, pa 
pay wasn't terrible, and the tips were nice. Certainly paid for gas. Um, let's see. Oh, yes. On July 14th, I got a job as a deli slicer. Or, professional term would be deli service clerk at, Cro at the Mendenhall Kroger. It's very near where I used to live. Like, I just drive for five minutes. I just drive down Mendenhall from my house for five minutes, and boom, I'm there. It's just past one, two, three, four stoplights. One near a church, one near summer, and one just one before Walnut Grove, and one just before. Uh, literally, literally right next. Literally in the intersection. Excuse me, literally in the intersection of where that Kroger is. <clears throat> it's not a horrible job. The work the work isn't terrible, you know, like with most retail jobs. It's just the people, not just the customers, but the management and co-workers that make it hard. The customers who don't want to art properly articulate their order... And also, <clears throat> the management who honestly couldn't give a shit if the customers treat you like shit because they want to treat you like shit anyways. I probably shouldn't be cussing so much, but anyways, uh, nothing I can do about it now. Um... Well, first off... Yeah, I've had the job for a year now. But the reason I quit my job at Domino's... Yeah, I quit! Not like I was fired from Amazon for... <clears throat> daring to talk back to them. Oh, we hear you muttering. You make people uncomfortable. Well, maybe it's because... I'm like 98% certain I'm autistic, so I talk to myself to keep myself focused and on task. You ever thought of that? No, because you're ableist, just like Elon Musk. <sighs> just like my father. Sorry, what was that? Um. Uh, well, but yeah. Then there comes the really sad part. The part that is pretty much the reason I've waited this long to make this next, to publish this next episode. On July 15th, 2022, at 5.35 p.m., as I was coming, as I was leaving my job at Kroger, going to work at Domino's, I got a call to make a delivery out at the Mendenhall Gardens is this apartment complex just over the bridge that just over this bridge over uh Sim Cooper Boulevard that's just before you get to the cross between Summer and Mendenhall and as I got to the house nobody was there I left my phone in the car, so I went back for it. And then two men jumped out of the bushes and pointed a gun at me. They ripped my wallet from my pockets and they took my 3DS out of my front pocket. My Pokemon Ultra Moon game card. Took my keys out of my pocket, pushed me down to the ground, got in, stole my car, and drove off. I screamed, I begged for help, but it was a full minute before somebody opened the door, and I called the police. My wallet my phone, my car, and all my Pokemon. 
that I've collected since I was a child. All gone. In an instant. It was... It was... the most terrifying experience of my life. One I shan't forget any kid. Anytime soon. I had to have my parents drive me to work for months. But at least my whole family came together in sympathy for me. Probably for that reason that I decided that I foolishly decided to use you know, a little bit of my PayPal credit to. Oh no, wait. That was actually for... I actually did that way back in July. In like, February of 2022. Good lord, it's been a long time. Oh yeah, one of the th one of the big things that happened after that little wonderful incident was me getting a new was me getting a new, um, a new 3DS shortly afterwards. They eventually found my, the cops eventually found my car and had it in an impound lot that I took back within like, the month. But uh, the big thing that happened over. Honestly, I... <sighs> Sorry, I'm looking through my stuffed... I'm looking through my stuff while also... Uh... I'm trying to look through my expense report while also paying attention to the Nuzlocke. Alas, the first time I filled up my car when I got, 
And yeah, that's the that's the you know what the really tragic part was? I filled up my car <sighs> just before I got into work on the fifteenth. So the criminals were driving away on a full tank of gas. They caught the guy within a month. I appeared in court with a new phone, thanks to Mom. They couldn't find my stuff. But it was like late September or early October when they found my car at an impound lot. So I got it back. I've been taking care of it ever since. <clears throat> and, uh... It's just been... Business as usual ever since. Except for the fact that we now have... A... New roommate with us. We've taken in a refugee of sorts from Arkansas. As well as a friend of Justin's. Maybe I got back to the car a little earlier than that. I can't remember, but it says that I bought a magnetic phone car mount in August. Uh, maybe I did get it back. Maybe I did. Uh-oh, Mr. Noah's very underleveled. But he still managed to slash him out. Nice. Hmm. <sighs> Scrambling to, I scrambled to re, to you know, reestablish all of, as much of my data as I could. That's pretty much what I've been doing all those months, just playing away. Well, for starters, I actually finished my Sun playthrough where I had Tora the Litten that became Tora the Tora Cat and then Tora the Incineroar. Because I still love Ushio and Tora. Oh, yeah, some big thing. I was. They stopped doing it at the beginning of the year, but I used to make pizzas there at, at the Kroger I worked at, and uh, I actually liked it. They got rid of it recently because they they got rid of it at the beginning of the year because they're moving the sushi around. And also... Sorry, playing around here. They're just renovating the store in general. They were getting rid of the pizza long before they decided to just completely renovate the store. Justin and I both saw Halloween for the... Or at least I saw Halloween for the first time in my life. Had to sell a bunch of my Lego sets. Oh, Slash, you're not allowed to evolve until you learn a better water move. Not allowed to evolve until you learn Hydro Pump. Had to sell a bunch of my Lego sets that I've recovered, that I've uh, paid off, that I've uh, bought over the years because right, it was right around October when 
my parents decided to stage intervention and confiscate all of my credit cards. And two of them I didn't even use. But I've paid off a good chunk of them, but they still haven't given them back to me. Mostly because two of them I still have yet to pay off. And they have a large balance. And even larger now that they've had a credit increase. Not that I've been able to buy anything with them, but they make even more interest now. Isn't that wonderful? Oh yeah, and if that wasn't enough, let's see. Lots. Lots of... Uh, sunk a lot more into my 3DS's downloadable games than I should have, just because of, you know, the discontinuation of the eShop at the end of March of 2023. But, uh, there was something new I did to start the year off. I started a subscription. I've, uh, I have... Uh, I've been seven months a member at Planet Fitness, and, uh... That's something, just to help me lose weight. Plus I got a bet... Plus I got in a bet with my folks that I could lose ten pounds before they did. We ended up not being able to take that uh, vacation after all. On the bright side, I'll get a big tax return next year because I only had one job. <laughs> and on the and on the double bright side, just a month ago. My boss has been making life unbearable for me with her constant do this, do that, because I don't want to. You know, typical management stuff. She transferred to another store, and everyone is, like, still celebrating because she was replaced by a veteran of 30 years who is stern yet fair to everyone. <clears throat> uh, my problem is I... I'm very, I'm still very anxious about customers. And I don't know if it's because, you know, the I don't want to work thing, or if it's because a lot of what they do, or, it's beca or if it's because of the trauma of help all of these cust of being trained by my former boss to say, I don't care if you can only do one person at a time. You help all of them, right now, all at once, or you're fired. You worthless nobody. So, you know, that's always very pleasant. Um... I've been uh, seeing new, th been doing new things like, uh, oh yeah, I started playing Animal, Cr I started playing Animal Crossing: New Horizons, which is like, oh my gosh, it's addictive. It's such a pleasant game too. I've sunk over 400 hours into it and tried my best to recreate the island of Matanui with as many of its features as I possibly could. 
including using those robot hero figures as the Toa. <laughs> to varying degrees of effect. Sorry, I'm burping. I'm trying to get rid of a bunch of bile in my throat. <clears throat> and we've got a new roommate. Uh, our roommate from Arkansas. Her boyfriend has moved in from Colorado. It's as a defector from decadence of sorts. His parents did not want him to visit Memphis because they said it's full of un undisciplined, uneducated filth and dirty people we don't associate ourselves with. And given that they're old, rich, white people, I think we all know what undesirables they're talking about. So they did the classic cut him out of their will, he's everything. It took him literal months to find a job because our economy is so messed up thanks to El Presidente ruining everything. Hashtag let's go Brandon. Uh, have been foolishly spending... I've been foolishly spending day in and day out just to cope with all the stress. And, uh, I've been trying to assemble new decks in Yu-Gi-Oh! to take on Justin again. <sighs> I'm still going to see movies, but a lot of them have been very divisive with me. With a notable exception being, like, the Super Mario Brothers movie. That was really good. 65? Not so much. <clears throat> Paying off my credit cards, and now I'm going back to school. Still can't believe I managed to survive for a year at the deli. It was terrible. But at least there are people here who appreciate me, like Meg at the bakery, some of my coworkers at the deli. I repeat, some of my coworkers, because some either get on my nerves because of their shrewd attitude or their incredibly lackadaisical p and people think I don't pay attention sort of attitudes. I'm pretty much near the end of the St. Anne thing. I just wanted to search through all the... <coughs> stuff, get all the items before it leaves. Heck, I'm probably on the... I was probably on the... Oh, excuse me. I was probably on the computer at this point. Looking over everything. Because, I, like I mentioned, I've been playing this game on my Game Boy Player. Oh yay, short rest. Oh, that's why. Haven't been able to pay attention to a whole lot of things because I muted it. For me, obviously you guys can still hear it. But I'm recording this using something new I bought. I, I have some... I bought a new sh set of um, HyperX wireless headphones, thinking they would work with my phone, when in actuality they won't, but it will work with my finally paid off gaming PC. Oh great. No, I was not at the party, because I literally just got here. I recently got a raise, a small raise, so my paychecks will be getting bigger, but I do also need to just cool it down on the incessant spending. I recently did, like, a crazy stupid thing, and on eBay I found not only a $40 copy of Pokemon Platinum and a $50 copy of 
Pokemon Sapphire, who need level up. But also, I managed to find... Uh, well, I got for $200. What's, what seems like you can't get a copy of... I got a copy of Pokemon Emerald. Now, while it seems like $200 is a lot, sometimes you can't find it for less than... You can't find it for less than 150 But at least I got something with it. I got... That came with a red Nintendo... Original Nintendo 3DS. Original Nintendo DS. Like, the original DS back in 2005. <clears throat> and given the fact that I found a silver one... Uh, at my local game exchange up in Bartlett... I f for like $30. Albeit with some dead pixels in the top screen. But I'm sure this will be fine. Now, the, the Emerald does have a dead battery, and I bet the Sapphire might too. But I know for a fact that the Sapphire is real. Uh-oh. Oh, what was I thinking? Three levels... Mr. No is three levels less! But yeah, I'm just... I'm going back to school. In like a month's time, or more like a few weeks' time. That's pretty much all that's been majorly happening to me this past few months. Uh, sorry if my commentary made it seem like I wasn't paying much attention to the actual playthrough. And to be fair, I kind of wasn't. I've been able to pay attention to a lot of things. I've come to the conclusion that I am definitely... If not ADHD, then somewhere on the autism spectrum. Come on, Slash, you got this. Um, still upset I accidentally erased. Water. Still upset that I accidentally erased Water Gun with Withdraw. I might have to change the layout of this in a future episode. It's getting kind of boring. Even with Pink Huddy's avatar of me there, it just feels kind of... stale. I hope to go there again someday. Reminds me of the, uh, saf there's the, uh, Go Safari Complex in... <laughs> Excuse me, sorry, very tired. I must have pussyfooted around them because I thought it was all... I thought they'd challenge me to a double battle. This is a recreation of Kanto. Double battles weren't a thing back then. I'm king of the world! <laughs> I can even see why I do that. Sorry, there. 
My computer has been getting kind of icky lately. <laughs> Oof. And that's it. And how are you a s captain of a sea vessel if you're seasick? Which will never come. <clears throat> it circles around once a year. But since there is no passage of in-game time, there is no clock, there, there is no internal clock to this game. what I was doing when I paused that for that long. Mm. Oh, there I am going again. Lots of things have come and gone this past year and a half. But I'm still here living paycheck to paycheck. Sarah going to want to cut? SSN. You'll only be slightly missed. They're all gonna eat my sharks. Or rather, Sharpedo. <laughs> Alright. Now it's time to face Lieutenant Surge and get that badge. We gotta get in there! Well now it's just the Lightning Lieutenant to remove any connotations with the real world. And honestly I think in many cases that's for the better. It's like, there ain't no way that, like, Guiana... ...or all these other countries can exist when there's all... <clears throat> and I hate this damn puzzle. See, once you find the switch in the trash can, you gotta go either up, down, left, or right. And if you don't get the second switch right away, the lock's reset and you gotta go all the way back to the beginning. Isn't that wonderful?
Uh oh, Terra's running low on health. But she leveled up. Nice. Wonderful. Now, past me, are you going to do the smart thing and go heal her? Looks like you will. All this stuff is making me rather tired. I wish I could have a Pokemon Center heal my status to full strength. <laughs> sure, that machine could restore me to full health. But, um, alas, it is not to be. I've also been starting to get just trying to get some new anime recently to fill the gap left in me by all the by the season endings of My Hero Academia. I'm recently trying a certain scientific railgun because I told I was told by my good friend uh, AfroTaku917 on DeviantArt that if you want to make sense of some things in certain magical index that railgun would be the thing to watch first because it's kind of like a prequel interquel of sorts explaining how a lot of the characters that get introduced in index came to be and stuff and it's a nice little companion and stuff I'm like no I don't need to change you kid me I'm double effective against ground types. Even at magnitude 4, watch. Oh, wait a minute, spoke too soon. Should've known. Oh. Switch into monkey fist. Uh oh. Yeah, get him. Oh, brother, what is it with this magnet thing? What? Are you out of your mind? Oh, no. Monkey Fist died! Now I gotta reuse my second chance. Way to get our revenge, girl. Well, there goes my sec. There goes my cascade badge chance. forgot about it. Only 357 more points to go for she's next level. eyes meet time for battle Yo. 
You killed Monkey Fist. Your species did. Time to pay. And level up. Awful games. <laughs> but I am at a low level, so and no EVs either. Really? You're the one who's cheating, looking away, and then snaps to look back. I don't like you, Eddie. And I like your Ekans even less. Mostly because he's got Intimidate. Wonderful. How fabulous. Who says ground types can't be paralyzed? Well, at least I'm not poisoned. And I can't be poisoned since I'm paralyzed. That's good, I guess. <clears throat> Seems right to me. That is practical use. Uh, right. Now let's get to the Pokemon Center and get back out there, shall we? I just love how that guy is always like frozen mid-walk. Whenever you initiate a conversation with Nurse Joy, but she's still moving. Oh, technically the Pokemon Center lady. Nurse Joy technically isn't in these games. They just have evolved to look more like Nurse Joy than a standard nurse. That's not Rock Tunnel, that's Tickets Cave. Where do you think you are, Nugget Bridge? Uh, well, keep that sense of optimism there. I suppose, kid. If it's a ground type, that means send out water! Second Slash. What are you doing? <clears throat> I mean, you could do that, but look at what you've done! Oh, my head feels all funny. I need to get some water in there. Carefully navigate out my room because it's a bit of a pain to get into. And I hope the microphone doesn't pick up my friends. Because I can't hear them, but the microphone can. Oh, that move became way more busted starting with Gen 7.
I'm gonna pause my recording for a moment and come right back to it. And youngster Dylan is down. <clears throat> oh, don't be ashamed, kid. They grew up just fine. Uh, so, yeah, I'm back. It actually took me a long time to not only fill up some water, but also one thing led to another, and I got hungry, and I made a peanut butter sandwich. Which I really shouldn't have eaten so close to my microphone, because I just got some peanut butter on it. But now it's off. Bing! I think I'm just gonna do all the trainers here. I haven't caught a Pokemon on route. Uh, have yet to catch a Pokemon on route 11 yet, but uh, oh, looks like Mr. No found something. A TM10. Sweet hidden power. Let's get it on. See, they had to call him Gamer because they didn't want to call him a Gamble. So that's clearly a shell game. And by which I mean, you know, <clears throat> it uses cups, but it plays like a shell game, you know? Find the pretty lady. played a shell game that didn't cheat me was in Freddy Fish. Yeah. And yes, I am in fact that old. Uh. One last depressing note I have to make note of is the fact that even though my... Uh, the guy who stole my... The guy who stole my car and stole my 3DS and my phone. Even though they caught him and sentenced him to six years in jail. I just learned a month ago he got... <clears throat> he got let out on bail. Well? And honestly, it makes me as angry that I want to fight someone as I'm going to fight this kid right now. That's just... Oh, magnitude 10! Ooh, that's a little rough. All the same. <clears throat> Excuse me. There, level 21. Who should I? Highly inaccurate. Maybe not. Yeah. No.
And I can also joke about the things that happened afterwards, like uh, when I restarted my crystal file on my 3DS, uh, I caught a shiny spinnerack that I decided to name Eddie. And then on March, when I was downloading a new game, I uh, had a glitch. You might know if you've seen a previous video of mine where I posted that I um, had... problems with my 3DS because, like, my the, st the data in my SD card got corrupted and... I couldn't save it, so I had to start over from scratch when it came to my Virtual Console games. <coughs> How about that? Eight months of work down the toilet. But let's just say I found a back door, shall we say? Uh, by which I mean, of course, that I homebrewed it. I sent it into Nintendo. They couldn't fix it, so they sent it back to me. But they polished it up to look nicer. But then I... <clears throat> I still insisted, though, on getting a special... One of those clear plastic covers for it. And it did allow me the chance to decorate it without feeling guilty about tarnishing my 3DS. So I put this... Uh, my Hero Academia Power Rangers sticker that Justin gave me. Well, actually, Zia gave it to me. Uh... Because we've been hanging around each other long enough that we pretty much know each other's likes and dislikes. Not so much with our new roommates, because I literally just learned that um, one of our that our new roommate from Arkansas she does not like barbecue like at all. Unless when I brought home ribs for everyone like a month or so ago. And now I'm trimming my fingernails. Proof that I am a master of multitasking. Or at least I like to think that I am. Though I am very much a creature of... Everything must be so... Well, you're certainly not depressing. So we're still stuck here in this uh, becoming increasingly more bum rental house. Oof, close one. And um, <clears throat> becoming even more bum so because of... Wait, why did you switch out? You're that desperate to get Terra some EXP, aren't you? Oh, thank goodness. That was close. Goodness, he needs to learn a better fire-type move. Uh-oh. This could be good. Or not. Huh. Crit scratch. It's a shame that I can say that not only in this two year, in this almost two year gap, not only has Little Karibo released a new episode, not only has there been a new season of My Hero Academia, but also a new season of Cobra Kai and Stranger Things. 
and the last seasons are coming up like a freight train. Very much looking forward to them. Ooh, a great ball. Nothing there at the end, though, so why even program it in there? Anything on that rock? Mm, the implications of that are very unnerving. Oh, Mr. No found something else. A rare candy! Oh, yes! How many do we have? Three now! How wonderful. Why am I running back when I could be biking back? Uh, I swear, looking back at some of the stupid stuff I do is just very nerve-wracking. Like, just this morning, I was playing Solitaire on uh, Clubhouse Games. You know that old game for the Nintendo DS that they, like, did a remaster of for the Switch? And without even thinking, I made wrong move after wrong move a dozen times in Solitaire. It was just like, looking back at myself, I was like, Oh my gosh, there's no undo button, there's... All these actions have sp Spoiled me. Wow, the first time one guy was like, oh man, I never win anything. Now this guy is like, haha, I never lose anything. Well, get ready to lose, old man. Boom, 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 boom. Uh, oh yeah, and just recently, not only did I get me, uh, I've been, get, I've been on a big Pokemon craze recently. I'm trying to get back into the things I love so much after so long of being bleh at work. I can't afford to let myself be bleh about anything anymore because it's killing my enjoyment of life. Not only am I getting into old Pokemon games again, but I've also been getting into writing new Code Lyoko stories, like for this Code July thing that's... Yeah, yeah, keep telling yourself that. This Code July thing that artists do every, that Code Lyoko artists do, have been doing for like, since like 2018, I think. I don't want to catch anything just yet. I think that was my reasoning. Just in case there's something good here. That I haven't already caught. Okay, I think I need to put my glasses back on because it said tackle, but I read it as tickle. Now, where'd I put those things? Oh, nuts, I think I left them outside. I'm not going outside, not until this is over. Oh well. Guess I gotta struggle with Hank the Cowdog style eye cross erosis. Now, where was I? Oh, yeah. In my recent eBay shopping spree, not only did it wasn't exclusively eBay, because I also got the new Danny Phantom graphic novel by Gabriella Epstein, Danny Phantom A Glitch in Time. Man, oh man, a Shevitz. I have to make a separate video about that or a review about it sometime because it is good. I'll not lie, I haven't... I was never active on the fan forums. I was just more of a... I mean, I haven't even been in, like, fan forums at all until, like... The most active I ever was online when I was a kid was... My early stages of DeviantArt, what little action I had on fanfiction.net, and also, uh, also, uh, basically, you know, like, kid websites, like lego.com and whatnot, and, uh, 
There was something else that I'm having difficulty remembering. I was on the Cartoon Network website to play games. Especially like the Big Fat Awesome House Party. Back when Foster's was still a thing. But the most I ever interacted like... With anybody... I never was into fan forms. I wasn't even even that active on BC Power. That's one of my biggest regrets. I was just a guy who watched from afar. Never had an official account on anything other than DeviantArt. And that was well before the Eclipse thing happened. Well before... Well before they got bought by Wix and lost their identity. Oh, I think I'm gonna see if I've got anything, anyone in the daycare center. I reiterate, I'm a very stupid person. obsessed with customizing my PC boxes. Oh yeah. Guess I had. Guess I had to make the death box eventually. <clears throat> differentiated from the other boxes. Must have already got that berry. be riding around to get some steps in. Sometimes I don't even know what I do. Or why I do it. that Snorlax in the way. I think this is where... I don't have a Nidorino kid. I guess I don't have the item finder yet. I don't got time for this. I gotta beat Lieutenant Surge first. <clears throat> mm. But like I was saying, I may not have been an active on the f fandom forums, but that I don't think that makes me a less valid member of the fandom, as it were. I'm spelling it P-H-A-N-D-M. D-O-M. 
P H A N D O M, like the Phantom, the fandom of Danny Phantom. I still love that show. Every bit as much as I love Bionicle. Um. Neat. Swap, swap a Terra. It's an old habit of mine to say before gym leaders. So I could do a, like a soft reset if I lose, but that's not how Nuzlocks work. Old habits die hard though. I very much have my own opinions on the show, and I love to share them sometimes. Uh, Danny, my opinion on Danny Phantom. The one thing I'll say about that book, I'm very pleased of how they wrote Sam. Normally, I, you like her when you're a kid, you don't like her when you're a grown-up. But this was able to straddle the line. Oops. Well, gotta reset the logs. One in three chance. Come on, Francis. You know that's not how the puzzle works. Uh. Let me guess. You're looking up how it works, aren't you? Gosh, I was so stupid back then. This thing unpaused and artificially lengthens this. It's a one in two chance. And you. Wow. I'm an. I'm an idiot. It's a one in three chance. That's more like it. 
now then, let's kick this guy's butt. Didn't even need to make the spending potions right now. Uh, old habits really do, in fact, die hard. I think this just might be the last thing of the night. Bring it on, American. Magnitude seven, nice. That's down. Nerp. Magnitude eight, nice. Let's see if it'll last against Raichu. Uh-oh, double team. Ooh, that's not good. Only six. <clears throat> I'm surprised the Lieutenant Surge didn't use a super potion. Okay, now he's gotta use a super potion. Yep, that's what I thought. Whoa, eight. Knocked out. Win. And level up. More like I'm the grounder. <laughs> and Thunder Badge get. Yeah, but you won't get the flight HM until, like, way later. Yeah, as I've demonstrated. Anyways, it looks like that's it for now. Just gonna heal up my team and shut her down for now. I could trade Mouse Kill away for a much cooler looking duck Pokemon, but I don't think I will. At least not in this Nuzlocke run. It's kind of like in-game trades make Nuzlocke's make in-game trades completely worthless. Anyways, that's all for now. See you next time. This is Francis Xavier. For now, logging off.